Completimo d'objet direct and Completimo objet indirect means COD and COI means direct object and indirect object. So in this video, we will be learning how to use these pronouns. So first of all, we will be learning about the direct object pronoun, which will be in the present tense. For example, let's see how it works in English. I know Mary, where I is a subject, no is a verb and Mary is an object. So how will we write by using the pronoun? I know her, I subject, no verb and her is a pronoun over here. So there is a pronoun or an object directly after the verb. So let's remember this point. Now let us know how we use pronouns in French. But before that, we need to know what are the pronouns in French. So for me, it is me. Or if there will be a word starting from a vowel, we will be using M apostrophe. For you, which is informal, we will be using the or T apostrophe. For him, her, it, we will be using le, la, L apostrophe, means L apostrophe. So here, people really get confused. They think that for him, we need to use le, la, L apostrophe. No, but this depends on the nature of a noun. If the, the, the noun will be masculine, I'll be using le. If the noun will be feminine, I'll be using la. And if the noun will be starting from a vowel, I'll be using l apostrophe. For us, it is no. For you, which is formal, I'll be using vu. Yes, we don't change no and vu in the pronouns. For them, it will be le. So make sure when you are writing a sentence, make sure that you are using the meaning of lay correctly because lay has two meanings. The first one is the, which, is, which we use with the plural one and here it will be them. So like English, we use subject plus verb plus direct object pronoun like I know her. In French, we do the same thing. Subject plus direct object pronoun plus verb. But with a little difference. So, in English, we use the pronoun at the end of the verb. Or you can say after the verb. But in French, we use in a reverse manner. You can relate the subject as like we use the pronouns in Hindi, but for those who don't understand Hindi, you need to remember this grammatical rule that in French, we use the subject, which will be je, direct object pronoun, which will be la, reason I have used the feminine thing, like her. The next is the verb, kone. So we will use the conjugation of verb according to the subject. I'll be placing the pronoun and I'll be using the verb. Je, la, kone. Now let's see some few examples. So for example, Jean lit le livre. Sean reads the book. Jean le lit. Sean reads it. Reason, the book it signifies a masculine noun, so we will be using it for it. And I'll be using le. Andrew lacoute. Andrew listens to it. So, I'll be using le. James la cherche. James looks for it. Closely see, we have used the direct object pronoun after the subject. And after that, I have used the verb. 
So let's see how we will be using indirect object pronoun and what is the difference between direct and indirect. Indirect object pronouns in present tense. Now, I am writing a letter to my cousin. So here, after the verb, I am using the word to. It is very important to understand that where in my sentence I have used this word, which is to, it will be an indirect object pronoun. I am, which will be a subject, writing a letter, that is a verb, to my cousin is an object. How will we be using it with pronoun? I am writing a letter to her. I am is a subject. Writing a letter is a verb. Writing is a verb. To her. Her is an object. So, initially when we did the direct uh, pronouns, there will be a verb and after that there was a pronoun. But there will be nothing in between. But over here, we have one word and that is two. So, if you want to differentiate between a sentence, always look for the word two. So, now let's see that. Is there any difference between the pronouns in French? Is it? Because for me, I'm using me. For to you, I'll be using to. That is, again, if there's a vowel, I'll be using M apostrophe or T apostrophe. But to him or her, instead of using le, la, le apostrophe, I'm using Louis. Louis. To us, nous. To you, vous. To them, leur. In direct object pronouns, how we learned it? Me, me, you, the. It was not to me or to you. So remember this fact. The sentence, wherever you'll be having the alphabet, the word to, there will be an indirect object pronoun. And there is again a difference that in indirect object pronouns, I'll be using Louis and Lar. For him or her or to them respectively. Now let's see how we use this in English and French. So in English it is subject plus verb plus indirect object pronoun. I am writing a letter to her. And in French it will be subject plus indirect object pronoun plus verb. Je lui écris une lettre. Je, subject, écrit, verb, object, lettre, but my pronoun is between subject and the verb. That is Louis. Let's see some examples. Je parle à Peter. I speak to Peter. Je lui parle. Because I speak to him. Je donne le livre à Marie. I give the books to Marie. In French, how do we say to? A. A with an accent. Je lui donne le livre. I give the book to her. Or I give her the book. Je parle au garçon. I speak to the boys. Je lui Je leur parle. If there will be a boy, then it will be je lui parle. But if there are boys, then it will be je leur parle. I speak to them. Hi everyone. So I really hope that this video have helped you in understanding this one grammatical concept. For many more videos, please subscribe and share and also please let us know that how much you are liking this video and what all you want in my next videos in the comment section. Thank you.